Hello, ladies. Okay, we're here now for a new matchup, which, thank fuck, isn't Protoss versus Protoss between <laughs> our Bronze League hero, Honk Honk, as the Red Terran, and Jade Monkey, the feminine pink Protoss, playing again. Let's see if he can come back from his loss of his last set of games against Weej. So the map is Slag Pits, which was chosen because we love women and we love to materialize them and talk about them in a derogatory way. Quick to note now, in the TeamSpeak channel, I'm joined again by my professional Korean, I mean Polish co-caster, Osprey. And joining me now is the caveman himself, Weej. Who is, who is in a uh, cave? Okay. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Okay, so the game hasn't loaded, which probably means Osprey's internet is broken. Which is going to... Oh, wow, we're in. In the game, in the game. So, spawning in the top position. Oh, lovely, lovely split there. Lovely split. So, we've got Honk Honk here as the Red Terran in the top left. And in the bottom right, we have Jade Monkey, the pink Protoss. This is standard opener there from Honk Honk. He likes to... He's a, he's a nice man. He's a nice man. Wants people to have fun. So this map, Osprey. What are your thoughts? As I have a drink of some delicious water. Um, it doesn't look as good with the graphics on low. <laughs> Why are they on low? I don't know. I turned them on them on low, and and now they're not on high. <laughs> but um, yeah, just going back to the map. I think <laughs> this map maybe will. Um, really show Jade Monkey's strengths because you know he does love that four gate. <laughs> Look then, at what <laughs> Ben's then of course, trying to chat up his opponent. If Hong Kong wants to go for the corridor style push with the tanks and you know marine backup, maybe bunker pushing, I tell you what, that's gonna be really hard to stop there, Microwave. It is it is, thanks for that Osprey. Definitely I don't think Ben is quite the bunker rush kind of player, you know, he's more sticking to his standard bronze level you're going to be in bronze for the rest of your lifestyle of going marine tank. But maybe, maybe this is the changing game where he finally learns to get up to that standard of silver. And um, so we've got a wall in going down there for Hong Kong with that that well-timed well-timed barracks and probably the gateway pylon from uh, Jade Monkey who isn't necessarily going to be walling in. So we've got an early gas going down. Jade Monkey, yes! He's finally getting on top of his Chrono Boost. We definitely like that because <laughs> the past few games really not been on top of that. But is he going to get supply blocked? He's chrono boosted again, forgetting that these probes are going to come out extra fast. And he needs to get a pylon down. He needs to get a pylon down. He's filled up that assimilator nicely with two people. Suboptimal mining. That's what we like to see in our bronze level games. Well, it's two's better than one. Come on, Ben. Fill it. Fill it. Fill it. Fill it. Fillet of fish. No, no, okay, maybe not. Maybe he only wants <laughs> a very little bit of gas. But he is scouting the base, so that's good. He's going to see <laughs> the partially mined gas for Jade Monkey. Jade Monkey's getting the early cyber core. He might be saving up some. No, he's definitely not. Save up Chrono Boost for, this, for the early warp gate. So, a not a sub optimal four gate probably going to be coming down. Oh no, Ben's really getting good at this. He's going to get a double gas. With less than three people mining each one, what's going on? This could be bad. Yeah, this could be bad. Oh no! Jade Monkey's going down. Does this mean that Ben wins? I think this means that Ben wins, yeah. I'm gonna say it's gonna go to a real. It doesn't. Wow, you I'm don't horse. have to kick him. I am horse. Wow, wait, so we, he won't necessarily leave the game? You don't have to kick him if it's a custom game. Let's talk to the players. How do you think the game is going? Looks like he's going, 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 and gone. He's left the team speak. Oh, he's back on the team speak. Oh, he's back. He's back. Wow, what a save. <coughs> Last minute. So, back to the. Um, depression of Ben having two guys. Does he even know that he could put, needs to put three in each geyser? I don't think he does. That is tragic. He, someone needs to tell him, but obviously not now because we are fair. We are fair players. 
Rob's fine. Well, sorry. Jade Monkey. Jade Monkey has picked up. He needs that extra guy in the geyser. And he's getting a second geyser. So, big tech openings. Ben is using that early scan, which I'm not sure I like. Because getting those mules early on really is important. And, you know, he needs that to keep up with the chrono boost of Rob. Well, to be honest, he isn't on top of his chrono boost. So, it's not going to be too crucial. So, he's scanned. He's seen the three gate and the cyber core. He's going to expect the four gate from Jade Monkey. And especially after that last game analysis, he knows that four gate is what Jade Monkey does and it's what he does reasonably well. He's going to be hole pushing these zealots to make sure no sneaky marines come past. I'd like to see maybe some, I don't know, some proxy pylons gone down from Jade Monkey. He can definitely use some warpins warp is on the high ground straight into the mineral line of um, Hong Kong and as if by magic we've got a zealot pushing forward gonna make sure he doesn't get surrounded by any not surrounded kited by some reasons there's a lot of units out there for Hong Kong he's really been on top of <laughs> no they were both to fly blocked <laughs> okay I think we've established established Osprey why these guys maybe are still in in bronze league they're getting supply blocked every game consistently what are your thoughts? Actually, Rob's uh, silver. What? Wow. Sorry. Sorry. That's a helpful insight there from from Caveman Weed. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, no, so but I'm bronze. Sorry for <laughs> sorry for for you when you watch this, Rob. I don't mean to upset. You. Okay, so we should see some startling silver play here from Rob, opposed to some maybe bemusing bronze play there from Ben. He's got a bunker up at the front he knows it's a really really good play because he knows that Rob's foregate will be kicking in soon at the 6 minute 50 mark the units are coming in the forward pylon is down I like that placement Ben isn't going to scout that anytime soon but he's got the bunker down he's got his units at the front maybe see another bunker to be extra sure he's probably going to go for the siege tank now it's definitely not going to be out in time in case Rob pushes let's look at the production tab I'd like to see some more units from Rob Maybe he's waiting for his warp timings, but he could, to note now for you lower level players, you can actually chrono boost your gateways to speed up the warp in time. The push is coming now. The push is coming. Oh, wow. Propelled before it even started. Jade Monkey on the retreat. He still can't warp in anything. His money's getting high. Hong Kong Colin is getting his siege tank in his siege mode. This could be the game sealer because if Ben can hold off this four gate and Rob doesn't expand, the four gate still is a pretty all in build. And if Ben can keep on top of this, keep his units together, keep the tanks alive, he can definitely push out and win this. And the supply block from Jade Monkey isn't going to help. Oh, the pylon is so, so late. Getting two pylons won't make it come any faster. This is really going give, to give Ben the chance to uh, to get ahead. I have noticed that PBT uh, rushing a four gate is actually quite tricky. Yeah, it's especially, especially, especially when you're against these tanks. And I think Terran, if turtled correctly with the bunker and going for the siege tank, is going to be definitely very hard for Jade Monkey to break. He's moving his units around. I'm not sure this map doesn't have any back rocks. Just the one entrance into the... Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, good. Yeah, no back rocks. I'm glad. Oh, I'm not sure if I like this. Moving his tanks into the open. Look how close. Rob needs to move in now. Before these tanks are siege, he needs to pick them off. He needs to get close. Move these units in so the tanks can't... Oh, this is massive. Oh, no. Massive, massive blunder from Hong Kong. That's definitely game from Rob. No tank in production. In fact, nothing in production. Why is Rob falling back? He should have seized the advantage. He's going to wait for a more warp in. Sad face from I Hong Kong. He, uh, accidentally forced himself. Oh, though. no. <laughs> yeah, I think he's... To be honest, he's still got the game. There's no way Ben can hold this. Look at the army tab. Absolutely huge. Over three times the size from Jade Monkey. He's going to push in now. There's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. Oh, Ben, he had the game. I think he could have definitely hold that. Osprey, thoughts? Um, I, 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 I thought I was really impressed with Ben until he decided to push out with every, like He just got caught in the worst position ever. And yeah. That was that, really. I think from, a, from being a Terran player myself, the key thing is leapfrogging those siege tanks. You've got to make sure that one's always siege so they can't push in. <laughs> Ben's also repairing that tank. It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. Wow, Jade Monkey's taken an expansion. I finally like that. It's the first expansion we've seen in about three games from Jade Monkey. He needs to transfer these workers because it's massively oversaturated. Rob's falling back now. Jade Monkey's falling back. 
He knows he's got the he knows he's got the advantage. I think it's a bit of BM. He should really push in and, and crush his opponent mercilessly. I don't know why Ben's still playing. He he should know he's out of the game. Yeah, he's I think Rob's very nervous to lose. To be honest, he doesn't want yeah, to lose. Yeah, he's it. he's being very cautious, but the game is the game is all but won. Seventy one to fight to thirty. It just goes to show what a short period of time goes. <laughs> Our spectators are leaving the game. I think that's a massive, massive hint now for Ben to leave. <laughs> There's Hong the Hong Kong. Kong. The Hong Kong GG from Hong Kong. There we go. GG dot from Jade Monkey. He must be pleased he got that game. To the score stream. We should have Hong Kong and Jade Monkey coming into this channel. Right. Be right back, church. Okay. Hong Kong thoughts of the game. I want to know what were you, what were you thinking? Why did you move those tanks? You had it. You had the hold. I, uh, I forgot to check outside my base. <laughs> did you not see him initially initially push? Yes, I did. And did, then I did, thought he may have dropped further back. Well, I, I think my garden. An, an, imp <laughs> an important thing to do when is to make sure you do scout that front garden with one unit, not your whole freaking army, and leaving those tanks unseaged. Oh man, Rob, duly noted, duly Jade noted. Monkey, Jade Monkey, what were your thoughts when your 4 gate, it didn't necessarily quite work when you tried to push in? Um, no, I kind of actually screwed up the beginning completely as you probably noticed that I suddenly went from having like 400 spare resources to going, oh shit, yeah, I should probably spend that, and then spending it all on building gateways and stuff, so, but... I thought it was pretty good. I felt um, it was going well until the point at uh, which I didn't really look. I was like I was driving a car blind and folded. I thought, well. I thought there were, I had to use a lot of baiting tactics to get him to actually um, move to where you, I needed him. Would you say you were, you were in fact masturbating in that sense? <laughs> well, no. I, wow. I would like a rematch first. <laughs> Shot down. Shot down. <laughs> okay, so... That's going to be all for this one. There's going to be the next game in this series coming up now between Honk Honk and Jade Monkey. Honk Honk. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>